acting is all a craft of deception at the end of the day, especially when it comes to audiences. Since we're expected to sit and watch famous actors, we already recognize in movies as if they've never played someone else before each time they step up. Occasionally, there are the ones who struggle to cast off their former jobs and end up being typecast, or face never being accepted as playing anyone other than slight variants of their most famous roles, like poor Daniel Radcliffe as Harry Potter. In that respect, you can understand why some of them go through incredible transformations in their newer releases, like Radcliffe then getting his knob out on stage productions to prove he wasn't a boy wizard anymore. That's one way of making us see him in a whole new way, I guess. Whether it's method actors who drop and gain weight at will, or visual trickery, effects, and prosthetics that manage to completely change their faces. These are the actors that have some tricks up their sleeves, or in their trouser legs, we can look forward to baffling us in the coming months. You're welcome. I am the helicoptering Ash from What Culture. Thank God you can't see me behind this recording. And these are nine famous actors you won't recognize in upcoming movies. Hello, YouTube. We're turning things up to 11 with the launch of What Culture Music. It's our brand new channel featuring all those lists you just can't get enough of, including creepy hidden messages in your favorite pop songs, as well as radio friendly songs that detail literal murder. That's as well as chatty faces where we get personal with you on our sordid musical tastes, in-depth discussion podcasts, and we're even doing quality fun stuff like tournaments and quizzes too. There's going to be something for everybody, so come on over and make some sweet, sweet music with us. Or just watch the videos. That works too. Like, share, and subscribe at the link below, and we will see you there. Bye! Bye. Nine, Reesifans, The King's Man. Coming in February, which is not always a concerning release window these days, the Kingsman prequel that will establish the origin of Her Majesty's other secret service looks a bit of a winner. The cast, led by Ralph Fiennes, young Harris Dickinson, and Gemma Arterton, looks great. And the story, centered around the start of the First World War, is an intriguing one. Most interesting of all the cast is Reesifans' part as notorious Russian mystic Grigory Rasputin, though, who grew a rather romanticized reputation for temporary immortality after his death. Sounds contradictory, but Rasputin and Unkillable tend to go hand in hand. Anyway, Ifen looks the part as Rasputin, complete with straggly hair and long beard with makeup used to make his eyes look dark and deep set. If you didn't know it was him, you'd be forgiven for missing the fact entirely. 8. Renee Zellweger, Judy Renee Zellweger is no stranger to physical transformations for movie roles, having put weight on to play British talisman Bridget Jones and losing a significant amount for Chicago. She also whipped up some headlines over alleged plastic surgery that the media naturally lost its mind over because tabloids and fans obviously own people's faces now or something. For her upcoming role as the tragic Judy Garland, Zellweger seems to have managed a different kind of physical transformation. For the release of the very first images of the biopic, her performance as the Wizard of Oz star looks almost like Zellweger has been completely replaced by a Judy lookalike. It's the whole Avril Lavigne and Melissa thing all over again. It's some seriously impressive hair and makeup work. And if you can manage to capture Garland's spirit and pathos in the performance, we're looking at an easy awards contender. 7. Josh Gad Artemis Fowl Even with some marketing already out for Disney's upcoming Artemis Fowl movie, we haven't seen Josh Gad's character. And it's probably for good reason. Whilst there are lots of interesting characters in the wildly popular young adult book series, Gad's delightfully named Mulch Diggum stands out, particularly for this first movie. Diggums is a dwarf, which obviously means either mocap or false perspective for Gad's performance, but he's not just a normal dwarf in fantasy literature terms either. In Artemis Fowl's world, dwarves can unhinge their jaws and dig using their mouths. Oh, and his beard, which will transform Gad's look significantly too, acts as antenna which is good to have when you have killer flatulence and don't want to accidentally kill anyone. His appearance is being hidden for a reason, and you can be damn sure it's because he looks unrecognizably weird. You heard it here first. 6. Noah Centino, Masters of the Universe Looking at former Disney Channel star Noah Centineo in the likes of To All The Boys I've Loved Before, you can see there is some athleticism to him, but he's going to have to go through a pretty serious transformation to convincingly pull off He-Man in the upcoming Masters of the Universe remake. 
Whilst it's unclear how much the film will channel the character's original look, a blonde bob and furry knickers is a hard look to pull off for anyone, really. He-Man does have to be muscular. It's sort of his thing. And with fans bulking at the audacity Paramount showed in redesigning Sonic, there is no way Sony will welcome similar criticisms by totally reinventing how He-Man looks. Centineo has already teased that he is bulking up recently, so we can expect him to be a lot bigger at the very least. Now all we need is a confirmation of that delightful hairstyle. 5. Kate Winslet – Avatar 2 The cast of the first of James Cameron's 809 Avatar sequels, give or take, has expanded with some seriously exciting names, as you would expect from a franchise that made all of the money in the world. Right up at the top of the list in terms of profile is Kate Winslet, who's joining the alien side of the cast as one of the Mechayena, and I have no idea how to pronounce that. Metcaina. Mec Mechani Mecca 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 I don't know. Mec Mecina. They are a reef tribe who spend a lot of time underwater and ride aquatic versions of the dragon-like creatures we saw in the first movie, basically. And Winslet has to learn free diving as part of her preparations for the role. She also confirmed that she filmed with mocap technology, confirming that she won't be human-looking and should, thus, be mostly unrecognizable. At this stage, it is unclear if she will have gills, but it's an important question. 4. Jared Leto – Morbius Given how poorly his performance as the Joker went down, you could have forgiven Jared Leto for never wanting to do a comic book movie ever again. But here he is tackling an even more challenging character, this time from Marvel's comic universe, in the shape of actual vampire Michael Morbius. We can expect Leto to play the role in two halves, just as the comic's origin story would demand. He'll start out as Dr. Michael Morbius, who discovers that he is dying because of a rare genetic issue, an experiment on himself while seeking a radical cure. At that point, he's likely to become unrecognizable as his body is twisted and deformed, and he becomes a superpower pseudo vampire. It's an interesting role for Leto to take on, but he has experience with fully transformative roles and is a very talented actor. So let's hope that this one pays off well, and we can all forget about the Joker in the process. 3. Tom Hardy Fonzo Tom Hardy is a bit of a chameleon. He rivals Christian Bale for his ability to immerse himself completely in transformative roles, and has played mental health patients, hulking comic book villains, wiry MMA fighters, and twins who somehow look convincingly different with an impressive range that makes him far more than a visual mimic. Most challenging of his upcoming roles, Hardy is set to play legendary gangster Al Capone in the final years of his life as he struggled with dementia. It's been a labor of love for Hardy and director Josh Trank, and so far the only signs we've had from the production are some incredible stills revealing Hardy as Capone. He looks barely recognizable under lots of really great makeup and prosthetics, and seeing the final product is a very exciting prospect. 2. Dominic Monaghan – Star Wars Rise of the Skywalker now, this one is another slightly based on speculation, but we do know that lost Dominic Monaghan is set to play a mysterious character in the upcoming Episode 9 of the Skywalker Saga, and there are some exciting hints of who he will be playing. Most intriguingly, early rumors suggested that Monaghan would be playing a lost Jedi in his late 30s who appears to rock a similar look to Mark Hamill's Luke Skywalker at the end of The Force Awakens. One supposedly leaked character description suggests that Monaghan's surprising character will have have a long shaggy beard and hair, which seems to suggest that his appearance is being consciously obscured. Could that mean he is a former Knight of Ren on the run? Mm hmm? 1. Simon Pegg – Inheritance You can mostly set your watch by the roles that Simon Pegg takes. He's usually limited to a wheelhouse of quirky comedies and sci-fi nerdery. You know, the things that made his breakout role in Spaced so great. So the idea of him going through a full-on action movie transformation is a little… odd. It's weird. But because he is starring in Bornstein's thriller Inheritance, Peg has been asked to do something different. And he's clearly decided to change his physical appearance very radically for the role of an imprisoned man who involves Lily Collins' character in a story of secrets that will threaten to unravel and destroy her life. Ooh. Again, it sounds intriguing, but not as intriguing as seeing what the newly svelte Peg, who went through an incredible training program for the film, will look like in the final movie. Shaun of the Dead ripped more like… Hey. And that's our list. What other actors do you think will be unrecognizable in their upcoming movies? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. 
I've been Ash and this has been What Culture. Make sure to subscribe to the What Culture YouTube channel for more lists like this. And don't forget to visit whatculture.com for daily news and articles. Thanks for watching.